Um, All right, see. take your turn, bitch. <laughs> I am. I'm gonna go with. Ba, 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 ba. I'm gonna go roll into a cave and die. You should. That day, you join the merciless trials of the Camp Dome. Just kidding. Do it after we finish this game. Your team is faced with a potato sack race. It seems easy, but this is a camp dome, and so the potato sacks are filled with swarms of bees. Your teammates are discouraged, both because they are not fond of bees and because the enemy team is mostly compromised by sentient bees. Sentient bees? Aren't all bees sentient anyway? Giving them a clear advantage over you. It all looks dire for you, but you use your cunning and remind the enemy team that the bee population of Earth is inexplicably decreasing. Inexplicably. <laughs> and bees are heading towards unavoidable extinction. Big brain time. It's like the words just... <laughs> the, the, the words, words just what? <laughs> statistics. I can't say it. I just stutter. <laughs> this fact really messes with the enemy team's heads, giving you the edge you need to win. Your nasty leadership skills grant you two charm. Sweet. You nasty. Hey, there's You're nipple nasty. ring. Afterwards, you manage to convince Damien that back massages keep away mosquitoes, and you're really getting after it when... Whoa. Hey, uh, has that weird chuckling lamp always been over there? Ooh. What oh. weird le Oh, wow. Oh, okay. I don't think There's we've actually something... seen this character. I have never seen this character in my life. There's something weird about this lamp. I just can't put my finger on what. Well, in the words of the great Maha Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma. When in doubt, Mahatma Gandhi. <laughs> when in doubt, set it on fire. You're pretty sure that's not what Gandhi said, and you tell Damien so. Really? Ugh. I tried to read a biography of Gandhi once, but I couldn't understand it, so I set it on fire. I thought that was the lesson the book was trying to teach me. Good job, David. That was about five minutes ago. The book is still on fire, actually. In fact, it's what I was planning to use to burn this lamp. Watch. All right, Gassy, it's you. Do you want it? Sure. Okay. No need, Damien. The only person who's been burned here is you, by my impeccable disguise. Whoa, Counselor Flodge? You were the lamp the whole time? Guilty. Pretty cool, huh? Only if you think lying is cool, which I do. But only when I do it, not when people do it to me. Salty. I wasn't trying to lie to you, Damien. I was trying to teach you a lesson about the wonders of camouflage. Get real. Camouflage is for stupid babies who are too lame to solve their problems with violence. Oh, so it's violence you're interested in, huh? You know what I feel like I sound like? What mm. do you feel like you sound like? Uh, Doofenshmirtz. Oh, a little. <laughs> like, a little. I'll have you know that in the heady days of my youth, I once disguised it. myself as a baguette in order to stop the French prime minister. <laughs> I almost said French press. Wow. But France doesn't coffee. have a prime minister. They have a president. Only because I stabbed the Prime Minister! I didn't know camouflage could be used for stabbing. This changes everything. But I still don't think it's for me. It's pretty hard to blend in when you have such blemishes. When you have such blemishless crimson red skin. There you go. Good job. Whew. Don't worry about that, son. I can change my skin to any color I want. And I'm a master of disguise. So clearly skin color doesn't matter here. I'm losing it. All we needed to do was find the perfect way for you to blend into your surroundings. Oh, oh, you got an idea. Get a high-powered job in the fashion industry and make red the end color for the season, the next season, and every other season forever. Okay. Hi, Damien, a giant bowl of delicious Hawaiian punch. I'm going to go with the punch. Yeah. Oh. You can, you can do that? It was fun. The punch was fun, and I yeah, won. Yeah, that's what I thought. Good. <clears throat> you can do anything with camouflage, son. Not to brag, but I was once snuck into the G8 Summit disguised as a guy who was running naked through the G8 Summit. Anything's possible. Wait, what? Anything's possible, Jay. This is the best idea I've heard since I suggested we set that weird lamp on fire earlier, and it's given me some great crime ideas, too. Time to be criminal. 
Frankie, you grab some punch and fill a bowl. I've got to run an errand. I'll be right back. I really want some Kool-Aid now. You, you know better than to ask questions, so you borrow a giant punch bowl from Rowdy the Punch-Loving Giant and start fi filling. Just fucking A few oh, moments yeah. later. <clears throat> hey, I'm back, but don't ask me where I got all these jewels or whose blood this is. I'm getting in the punch bowl. Goodbye. <laughs> no, no sooner has Damien disappeared into the punch bowl than two cops come running into camp, hot on his trail. Hmm. Hey, you two, says one of the cops. Did you see an international jewel thief murderous demon run this way? Don't ask me, I'm just a lamp. You just shrug. Well, says the cop, looks like we've hit a dead end. There's nothing here but this lamp, this innocent summer camper, and this giant bowl of red liquid. I love all that. I'm stumped, says the other cop. I love Normally. Like you realize they're supposed to be dumb, and then you gave them southern accents. <laughs> Normally, I'd be suspicious of such a large bowl of wine oh punch, but we all know how much summer campers love sugary drinks. You're right, says the first cop, and keeping all of this punch in one big bowl seems much more efficient than repeatedly filling a smaller one. Still, says the second cop, we should probably at least feel around on the bowl just to be safe. The second cop sticks his hand in the bowl. His hand comes out with a knife stuck through it. <laughs> Whoa, Ted, says the other cop. Did that punch just stab you? Seems like it, replies his partner. It's probably some kind of marketing stunt to make the punch seem more edgy. Kids these days, with their Fortnite and their violent punch. The cops leave, shaking their heads and waxing philosophical... Wait, the cops Wait. leave? He didn't die from the stab wound? No, it's just in his hand. He's fine. And waxing philosophical... What is it? And waxing philosophical about the... You never heard that term? Or About the wax? state of today's youth? It just feels weird in, a, in, a, in that sentence. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, because waxing... I don't know why it's used as a term for talking, but it, it is. That was incredible. You're a genius, Frankie. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have another error to do. It's not long before you're reading a news article about the giant bowl of delicious Hawaiian punch that was mysteriously delivered to the UN Security Council. Oh, dear. You gained two boldness and one fun for your part in this. I'm on a roll. Sniveling fool. <laughs> yes. That's why I called you a sniveling fool earlier. Ah. Mm, what haven't I done yet? I haven't done creativity and I haven't done the, the pond. The pond. Yeah, let's do it. Oh my god, no! Abby, why? Um, I almost spit out my drink. <laughs> <laughs> I almost spit my fucking. That's amazing. Oh no, I'm never coming to the lake again. <laughs> I took a screenshot of that. Oh. <laughs> While looking around the lake for a private place to take a pee, you find a treasure map buried in the sand. It leads to an X in the center of the lake. You gather a crew of trusted friends, don your eye patch, and sail out there to find the booty. Yar, when you arrive, you find a toy new island with a single palm tree. You dig up a box that says, open in case of a very boring day. You open the box and find, plus two fun. Yarg! You're minding your own business, smelling people. <laughs> when Dahlia grabs you and drags you to the lake shore. There you are, sniveling fool. Once more, I need your help achieving the best summer ever. Critique my rock skipping technique. Dahlia skips a rock straight upwards and disappears into space. Moments later, you notice a faint glimmer in the sky. It's not Dahlia's rock or the satellite Dahlia's rock destroyed. It's a meteor. It crashes into the woods on the far side of the lake, turning them into a giant bonfire. Yes, ultimate campfire. Quick, tell me some campsite stories, but very loudly. This one time in band camp? <laughs> <laughs> You're about to tell her the one about the horny summer campers who finally boinked <laughs> when you're distracted by a glowing figure approaching you across the lake. Greetings, says the figure in a warm, booming voice. It is I, Kalor, Herald of Summer. Kalor. Kalor. Ah, Kalor, ha. Huh? Kalor, it is an honor to meet you. Can you re critique my rock-skipping technique? 
I am here on a much more important errand, says the spirit. Your passion for achieving the ideal summer has moved me. I have a quest for you. I have grown weak as of late due to the lack of worship. The heralds of the other seasons mock me <laughs> and drain my power. I need you to. Worcestershire. I need the Shire. Destroy right. them. I will do it, noble hot men. Noble hot men? That's what I said. Good job. I'm proud of you. I was going to say, talk to them and ask them to stop being such jerks. But honestly, that sounds great if you're up for it. I don't mind a little bit of murder. Fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Would you? I make my own luck out of blood. Blood! Blood. Blood, blood for the blood god! Moments later, you're face to face with Vern. It turns out traveling to Florida is easy. You just mix a can of Bud Light with cough syrup and you're there. Yeah! <laughs> Hmm. What's up, bro? Says Vern, while shotgunning a hard set seltzer and thinking about boobs. Here to defeat me on behalf of that nerd Kalor. Yes, and also to get tan. A good tan is critical for the best summer ever. <laughs> Says Vern, doing three keg stands at once by the grace of his How? divine might. Suck my Easter eggs, losers. No one can defeat me, he says. I'm going to live forever. Spring break. Woo, fuck the virus. What is virus? <laughs> You'll just see about that. It so happens that you know the perfect technique for defeating the Herald of Spring. Uh, remind him that spring is just a late opening act for summer allergies. Uh, opening act? What? Says Vern, taking a selfie oh, oh, next to his passed out friend's That's... penis? Ugh. No way! Springs is the tits! Except you get a lot of dick in your Poor face, Jake. bro. Really? Then what were you doing last spring? Welcome back, Inky. What were you doing last summer? Well, you know, spring break, baby! <laughs> Spring break is the third week of spring. What were you doing before that? Planning for spring break, obviously, bro. And after spring break? Remembering all the good times I had at spring break, obviously. I mean, it's not like anything else ever. Oh, oh my god. You're right, says Vern, sending his 30th consecutive unanswered text to his dad. Spring is a bullshit season, man! That's right, you over-pollinated weakling. Spring is a coward season. Goddamn. It's such a pathetic excuse for a season. It even makes the clouds cry. April showers bring May flowers. Kiss my blue ass! Hell yeah, Dahlia. If I want May flowers, I'll buy them in a store! In July! Damn, tell them. But, 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 but. Stammers Vern, floor-lornly duct-taping a... listen forbidden. <laughs> Forbidding... <laughs> it doesn't even work, sorry. I can't make nope. it. Uh, duct-taping a 40 ounce to each hand. Spring is the season where all the animals fuck, man. Fucking is pretty cool, right? You need a season to tell you when to have sex? What are you, crops? Damn! <laughs> Do you have an egg timer wired to your dick? Or do you just slap your cock with a calendar every day to see if it's time yet? God <laughs> damn. This may, I just witnessed a murder. Can, can I get that again without laughing? Yes, I'm sorry. No, do you have an egg just, timer? I need the power of that line. Do you have an egg timer wired to your dick, or do you just slap your cock with a calendar every day to see if it's time yet? <laughs> God damn, Dahlia! <laughs> it's even better because on my screen she's a mermaid, so it feels less threatening than what you're looking at. <laughs> you need to take a fucking screenshot of the mermaid so I can see it. It's too late. 
damn it. I don't I don't have a dick, says Vern. I'm the divine embodiment of the season of spring, man. Uh, please don't tell my bros. Oh, we'll tell them all right. Unless you submit to the glory of summer. Fine, whatever, man, says Vern. Summer's when I was planning to go to Ibiza anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Burns suddenly dissolves into a vortex of divine pink energy. Dahlia high fives you so hard your hand grows a beard. This is the only only the start of a grand adventure. You gain plus two fun and plus one boldness. Nice. Everybody choose your object. Um, um, belt. Um, spear. Wow. A fellow camper with whom you share a tent has brought 20 of this object. Player orders decided based on how unsettled you feel about sharing the tent with this person. Spears. Uh, well, no. I would it, be very it, upset if someone just brought in a lot of spears. I just want to say, like, they're going to kill all the me. Latino kids out there <laughs> that have faced the Faja. <laughs> when your bro comes in with 20 belts. <laughs> You're going to fucking enter some hard PTSD. <laughs> I don't know. You got to be stronger than the belt, Jay. Inky's agreeing with me. No. I win. I Inky's win. He's saying that because Inky has a kinky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll give you points for effort with the pun, but I'm still taking the win. <laughs> Let's go to the camp. What the f <laughs> what is that? I fucking love it. <laughs> Today you're playing the most dangerous Camp Dome game of all. Charm Wars! The rules are simple. You must gain charm by the end of the round or you will die instantly. Sniveling fool, you better earn some charm quick. Like in the next 10 seconds, or you're gonna fucking die. Holy shit, earn some charm already! Oh, okay. Thank God. You just earned plus two charm. Phew. That was way too close. Inky, I don't answer those foolish questions. Yeah. Sniveling fool. Hi, what are you doing? Not important. It's time to kill Winter. I mean... What? By I kill... tracked her down. Her name is Bruma, and she lives in Alaska in a palace made of ice and crude oil. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, so you're scarier than the 20 objects. Hell yeah, I am. You hesitate for a moment because Alaska's fucking sucks, but Dahlia triggers a travel montage before you can object. One plane, <laughs> one bus, and one tan tauntaun ride later, you stand oh, no. before the Palace of the Herald of Winter. The portcullis opens with a tremendous grating noise. Who? Oh, wait. Who dares approach my sanctum? Bellows the Herald, who looks like Elsa from Frozen, but wearing a Christmas sweater, blazoned with the words, This is not copyright infringement. <laughs> <laughs> It is I, Dahlia Aquino, and I have come on behalf of the Herald of Summer to melt you into fluid. Foolish mortal, says Elsa. I mean, <laughs> Brahma. You cannot defeat the mighty winter. It is by far the superior season, you scandalous whore. What? Impossible. Summer has all the best things. Revealing swimsuits. Revealing su swimsuits. Revealing swimsuits. Sweating profusely. The Summer Olympics. No, no. Revealing swimsuits is just fine with me. Revealing swimsuits. <laughs> Indeed, says Brahma. But winter is bitter cold. Not being able to go outside in the Winter Olympics, you scandalous bitch. Curses. She's right. Damn those figure skaters in their sexy, sexy ice bikinis. Oh, they're so sexy. Sexy, sexy. Yes, you cannot stand against me, smiles Bruma. Now run along. I have lunch with Sarah Palin in an hour. <laughs> no, you can't give up so easily. Surely there must be a way to ruin winter and defeat its herald. Wait, got it. Uh, invite all her relatives to a holiday dinner. Oh. Her socks. Give her socks. Um, politique? Wow, I was just going to stab her with an ice pick. That's way more complicated, which means it's way smarter. A few phone calls and handwritten invitations later, Brahma's family is at the gates of her palace, demanding to be let inside. What is the meaning of this? shouts the ice princess. It is not a holiday. Why are we gathering? We're gathering. We, we've... 
gathered here to celebrate your doom. Good job. It looks like an R. Your doom, honey, says Broom's mom. Bruma's mom, she's a broom now. A hag made of icicles. Does that mean you're finally getting married? Uh, mom, I told you, I'm focused on my career right now. Fine, come in, I'll make everyone slushies. Crowd files inside. Broma makes slushies. Uncle Yeti makes some uncomfortable comments about race. It's a typical mm. family gathering. Then, just as everyone's sitting down to a meal of crushed flavored ice. So, how does everyone feel about current political figure? He's huge. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him, says Amiko Bruma's Uyuki Ana half sister. I love him, says Martha, Bruma's aunt, who is a Wendigo and also an anti-vaxxer. Oh, good. Good! That said, continues Martha, I understand that I embrace his policies in part because they consciously reaffirm my own prejudices and cater to my fear that I'm being left behind by a society of my own <laughs> age. And for my part, says Yumiko, I, though I'll never agree with your backwards politics, I understand the very human motion motivation behind them. See, no need to ruin our family. What? What? How are you not fighting? Why are you so calm? I don't know, shrugs Brahma. I guess you could say we're all pretty chill. No! God damn it. That knock pun knocks you all the way back to Camp Spooky, where you're left to wallow in your total defeat. You lose Dahlia's respect, minus two charm, and minus one boldness. Sad face. Mm, what was it? I'm Not a... What was the stat, just so I know? I think it was fun. Oh, wow. Or not so smart. I don't remember. Got it. Wait, but I'm super smart. Fuck I that. think it's whatever you lost, right? Doesn't it usually no, take no, no, what no, you no, lost? No, no, it, it, it isn't that, no. Or what it was supposed to be, I mean. Um, I'm gonna do... Um, fun, I guess? I guess. I'm gonna do creativity. Sweet. That Wait, day, a Monster was... Scout's... You'll you all learn to identify different animal tracks. First, you practice identifying bears yeah, do, and and deer, but then you start having to identify way more specific tracks. So you identify the tracks of a sculptor, half human, half sculptor. You follow the tracks until you find the legendary beast. The sculptor teaches you the basics of sculpture. You gain two creativity. Nice. You and Damien are lounging together, having a surprisingly chill time reading comic books. Ooh. This is hey. going to sound crazy, but can you pass me that one that doesn't have someone putting his fist through someone else on the cover? I really like this outfit for him, the winter outfit. Look <gasps> who it is! Do you want your girl? I do want my girl. Take your girl. Oh, I don't remember how I did a Robbie. Are you serious? Okay, I got this. Wait, what's this now? You're gonna read actual words that might describe something other than punching? Ha! I, I fucking hate it because you're like, I don't know what I'm doing, and then you nail it 100%. Didn't feel like I did, okay? No, you did. <laughs> what? You do this no, with who Sonya said that? too. <laughs> Sonya always makes me nervous. <laughs> I was, I don't know why. <laughs> Is she I was too just. Pretty? I don't know. <laughs> I was just asking for the one without someone punching so that I could eat it, obviously. Uh-huh, right. What did I say, Dahlia? I told you he's getting soft. But not so soft that you won't come sand strangling and ocean kicking with us tonight, right? My biceps are ready to choke that sand right out, and I got special boots made with spikes on the bottom and the sides and the top so I can really show those waves who's boss. Uh, well, that does sound great, but... But? Speaking of the ocean, I was actually gonna watch this document documentary... Most likely Tuesday. On dolphins tonight. Dolphins? I'm making popcorn. Dolphins? Dolphins? At the target. <laughs> I'm making target. popcorn. I'm making dolphin-shaped cookies <laughs> if you want to join Wow, you've changed, Damien. It's no wonder the wildfire hasn't appeared to you yet. What? What do you mean? 
I know you've been on the hunt for the elusive wildfire, and I know it's thus far eluded you, and I also know why. The wildfire only appears to those who are badass enough to be worthy of its unbridled glory and untamed majesty. It's true. I was just in the woods one day playing with matches, and suddenly, out of nowhere, the wildfire just appeared. It was one of the most magical moments of my life. There's nothing like seeing a wildfire out in its natural habitat. Too bad you'll never see it. Face it, Damien. You're just not metal anymore. I love oh, that I Hex that was wearing a scarf. Oh, you should have seen mine. It was like Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, yeah, it I've seen that one. That's adorable, too. Not metal? I'll show them who's not metal. Or I'll show them who is metal. It's me. I'm still metal. Now to prove it by becoming worthy of the wildfire. But how? Perform the sickest skateboard trick. Escaping from a tank of water while chained and on a skateboard. Write a poem, but a poem that's very metal. Oh. Well, you have one stat that is not high. I'm going to say the top one. I feel like the second's creativity. Yeah, most likely. Ah, oh, hell yeah. That's all kinds of metal. The chains are going to be metal. The top of the water tank will be metal. I guess the wheels of the skateboard, are those metal? Who cares? Point is, lots of metal. And I'll be the metalist of all. In fact, let's find even more metal. I'm going to have a tuning fork in each hand when you chain me. No, wait. A tuning fork in one hand and a regular fork in the other hand. I think there's a metal suit of armor in the haunted manor. I could wear that too. That's fucking metal. You managed to convince Damien not to put on a heavy suit of armor before you lock him into a tank full of water. Which is good, because you can't smooch him if he drowns. I mean, I guess you could, but you're not really into that, so it's better if he survives. You, fi you find a water tank, put a skateboard at the bottom, chain Damien up, and then throw him in so that he sinks onto the skateboard. But because he is, as he claims, super metal, it doesn't take Damien long at all to break out of the water tank with a sick-ass flip. He skateboards down the side of the water tank, doing a one-armed handstand on the board. He does a double somersault in the air, hitting the tuning fork with the regular fork to create a beautiful and magical pitch as he lands right side up on the skateboard. Fuck fucking yeah! Wildfire, come at me, bro! Silly Damien, you can't call the wildfire. It appears to you when you're worthy, which you're not. Damn, son. Yes, I am. Just the sickest, most metal skateboard trick ever. I mean... I didn't see it. If a demon does a sick-ass kickflip in the woods, but nobody is there to see it, was it still metal as fuck? Obviously, yes. Obviously not, or the wildfire would have appeared. Fuck, Frankie bro. saw it. Ask her. Oh, Damien. We all know Frankie's a thirsty bitch who would say anything to get attention from you. Dolly's right. You are a thirsty bitch, Frankie. But you're a thirsty bitch who helped me out today, and I appreciate it. Look, I'm a thirsty bitch, but I'm honest. Let's I'm try an again. Honest sometimes. thirsty bitch. Honest. Let's try again to sometime soon. I know next time we can get that wildfire to show itself for real. Oh. Uh, you're not sure that the mystical wildfire actually works, but hey, if Damien wants to hang with you more, you're not going to stop him. You gain two fun and one charm. Inky will never forgive you. Fuck this up. Uh, choose a fictional character. Um, um Aravi. Ellie. No, I changed Joel. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Players decide based on which character Frankie is the most similar to. Damn You're it! The, yeah, Aravi. <laughs> <laughs> my plan, my beautiful plan.